this video. In this video, I quickly wanted to talk about a new text track feature. So let me quickly comprehend that feature into few bullet points. So AWS recently announced the support for the bulk document uploader feature, which is available on the Amazon text track console. This feature is intended for the customers to quickly evaluate the capabilities of text track on their own set of documents without writing any code. With this feature, anyone can process up to 150 documents in a go per request using Detect Document Text API, Analyze Document API or Analyze Expense API. The customer can submit these documents via an existing S3 bucket. So basically you upload all your documents into the S3 bucket and then provide the S3 URI as a reference to the input documents or the customer can directly upload the documents from their computer to the console itself. The expected output of the bulk document uploader is zip files, which will contain both the standard text track JSON response and a human readable CSV file with the confidence scores. And the output results will be available to download for seven days after processing. It means that you can download those results and it will be on your console for seven days. Now coming to the main part. With respect to the cost, AWS will charge standard text track usage rates for using the bulk document uploader feature. Now again, I want to highlight that this feature is intended to quickly evaluate the capabilities of text track and you should use text track APIs in production. As a next step, let's navigate to the Amazon text track console for hands-on. Once you are within Amazon text track console, click on bulk document uploader under demos from the left panel. And as soon as you click on that, you can start uploading the documents to evaluate the capabilities of the Amazon text track service. So let's click on upload documents. As a part of the source of documents, we get two options. First one is that we can import the documents from the S3 bucket and you can have any number of documents in an existing S3 bucket but it will pick and process only 150 documents in a single request. So in this case, we will move on with the first option. And apart from that, the another option that we get is you can directly upload documents from your computer. So let's select the first one and let me quickly show you the documents that I have. So here I have this bucket that is Recognit1 and within that I have this folder that is text track data and within this folder I have a couple of files. So I have PDF files, .jpeg files and the PNG files. You can have different file types which is supported by the Amazon text track into a single folder. So these are the files and this is what we are going to process. So now let's go back to the Amazon text track. Let's click on browse S3. Let me search for the bucket. So I have this bucket that is Recognit1 and I'm going to select this folder. Click on choose. Now under choose a feature, you can select any one feature from these. You can either select detect document text, tables, queries, forms, signatures, or analyze expense. So in this case, we will select detect document text and then we will click on start processing. So if you see under submitted documents, here we have five documents that is being processed. And here we also have the type of the document that is PDF, JPG and PNG. And the feature that we have selected is detect document text hyphen OCR and the size of the documents. So currently uh, Amazon text track service or the detect document text API is processing these documents. And I guess two documents are done. The rest of the documents are being processed. And now all the documents are being processed and they are ready for download. So here you can also see this uh, information that output files will remain available to download for seven days. Okay, so after seven days, you will not be able to see all these files. So you can select any of the document and click on download results and it will basically download the zip file and that zip file will contain the standard text track JSON response and the human readable CSV file uh, with confidence scores. Okay. So basically this is how you can, you know, uh, use this feature to evaluate the capabilities of the Amazon text track service. So guys, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section about how do you find this feature? Do you find it helpful? Are you going to use it or not? And that was all that I wanted to cover as a part of this video. Until that time, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. 
and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time